Oh wait, should I do the full title? A letter to the future. What's this called? I don't know. I might. I'll fix the title later. On the next stream, I gotta at least fix it on this. Controls again. Maneuver bicycle. Use camera. <laughs> Brakes. Right about move. Huh? Wait, I could actually use the mouse. Yeah, I'm gonna stick a controller though. Settings. POV. What is this? Who are you? I don't know, but I'm writing to you anyway. Where are you? How far in the future? Where'd you find my journal? I may never know, but you can know me from what I put down on these pages. I come from a little village in the mountains. No one has left here since before I was born. But our lives changed overnight just a few days ago when my best friend had a prophetic dream. A vision that the Elder said means this season is going to end soon. The world is about to enter a new era. A great change is coming. Everyone was afraid. I was surrounded by questions and I began to feel how little I know. What is this season that is about to end? And why is it ending? What exactly is out there that could turn the world inside out? If there are still voices singing and laughing in the wilderness, I could record them before they're gone. I also thought of my dad, who always wanted to see the outside world but never did. So, I asked if I could leave. The Elder had one condition for letting me go that I take what I collect to the museum vault, a palace of art and memory at the edge of the earth. She says it's the only place safe from the turmoil of a changing season. I hope that's where you're reading this now. I can't stop the change that is coming, but this time on earth could live on in these pages. What it looks like, sounds like, how it feels to be alive right now. I'm writing to you at the crack of dawn on the morning I leave home. I can smell breakfast cooking in the other room 
and I can hear my mom's voice. The last moment in this little house. There used to be three of us here. My mom and dad and me. Soon it will be just her. Her and all these memories. But in this moment, everything is the same as ever. Until I shift my weight. The floorboards creak. Mom hears it and turns to me. You're up. What are you doing standing there? Time to get going. It's gonna be a beautiful morning. I'm making progress. I found the burner, camera, recorder, travel bag. Breakfast is in progress. Still gotta make a pendant. We haven't used this in so long. Good thing I saved the instructions. Just as you would use a shield to protect your body. An identity pendant protects your mind. Your thoughts, memories, everything that makes you, you. We don't wear them here in the village anymore. But if you're going into the outside world, 
I'll feel better when you've got a pendant shield in you. Diseases of the mind. Like the dream sickness. We don't know what caused it. We heard people suddenly fell into an eternal sleep. These were years of wild rumors. And half of them turned out to be true. In times of war, a pendant can be used to identify a body. Let's skip that part. Objects have two layers, the physical and the mental. The pendant needs to absorb both. One, collect a sentimental object for each sense, sound, smell, feel, sight, taste. Two, feel the sense and speak aloud a memory of the object. Three, feed the object into the burner. The memory will leave the speaker as it is transferred to the pendant. That means I'll forget the memory after I say it. It's supposed to be painless, at least. No, you must remember everything. That's your role. Okay, so. This old tape should work for our sense of sound. I remember. You and I fell asleep listening to this tape. Where that came from? together until it got dark. What an odd feeling. Like an absence disappearing. The empty space fills itself back in until I forget that I forgot anything at all. <sighs> I'm glad I'm only losing a few memories. If I lost too many, I wouldn't even know who you are. You should pick the rest of the objects. I'll lose the memories, but you'll have them in the pendant forever. So they should be important to you. They should be part of your identity you want to be sure to protect. So think about what these items and what the memories would preserve about you. Let's do smell next. 
find an object with a strong odor and that holds a piece of you. Ancient perfume sweet. Nothing is ever lost. What did you choose for smell? Let's breathe in deep. Your dad used to bring these flowers home from his climbs. They only grow high up in the mountains. He was a great climber. He even found us a new source of water. I hoped after he would climb less, maybe even retire. But he always wanted to explore, and the only direction to go was up. Maybe the Elder is letting you leave out of guilt for what happened to your dad. If someone has the energy to leave, it needs to go somewhere. He fell into the Fitz ravine. He never found his body. But doesn't he rest with us at night? Doesn't he appear in our dreams? How can such a human being depart this earth without leaving behind a trace? A trace as strong as the flowers would still have their scent. Darling, I don't want to lose this one. I can't lose this one. Can we put the flowers back, please? Thank you. Seaside, darkness. This speaks to how my mom loves me. Honey, wax, baby, waves. I was loved by people I have no memory of. Oh, yeah, this part makes no sense. Can I go? Yes, it's kind of obnoxious. My bag and dad's camera, ready for the great departure. Nothing. I always looked for other worlds. <laughs> you can actually select it.
something. What else am I? I really don't know what else I'm supposed to be picking. Sour, handshake, sweat. I always had the intuition the world could change completely. Nothing. I look closely. I said smell, but what else has to do with smell? Sweet wax honey. How oh, I've tried to save things. Wouldn't be more of taste? Damn man, I don't know what you want from me. Childhood. Too sweet, too old. I always wanted to experience new things. I'm pretty sure it might have a strong smell to it. I don't know. What did you choose for smell? Let's breathe in deep. This ginger drink has been in our family for generations. And you. As soon as you were old enough to talk, you said, let's drink it. It's hundreds of years old. Like you already wanted to experience something different. Well, we all had one horrible sip, but boy, we laughed. What would we do without you? What will we do without you? Now touch. Pick something with the texture you like. Is there anything else this way? I thought I got clay and green. Candle. Fabric, skin, plush, limbs. This speaks to how my dad loved me. So what did you end up choosing? Okay, feel the object. I remember. You used to take him everywhere with you. One night, you forgot him in the plaza. 
was cold and rainy that night. But your dad leaped into action as if the doll was a real member of the family. I have this image of his face as he ran out into the storm, completely serious, no hesitation. And when your dad returned with the doll, I forgot for a moment that he's just fabric. Stitched into the form of an animal. It felt as if he had a soul because you'd projected one into him. What was dear to you was dear to us. That was... We were whole for a little while. I'm fine. Let's do sight next. Pick something that... that looks nice. Poisoned, blue, shine. I look closely. So, what did you end up choosing? When you were a little kid and I'd wash your pants, I'd check the pockets and find all kinds of little things you'd collected off the ground. Rocks, leaves, bits of string, and bugs. It happened less and less as you got older. But I remember the afternoon I found this beautiful blue beetle in your pocket. I thought, oh, this might be the last time. And this dead insect suddenly became so precious to me. What is it in our young eyes that imbue every small thing with meaning? Why do we lose this? I don't think you ever did. For taste, we can eat breakfast and feed some to the burner. The memory I'll lose is the one we're forming right now. I want you to have it forever. Standing here, you're having a last taste of home.
Now you're protected by lost memories. A gem of home around your neck. This is my only condition for letting you go. You must promise me never to take the pendant off. And never tamper with it. Okay? Then I'm okay with you leaving. I think your camera and bag are still in your room. It's time to gather them up. time over here. Pretty sure that depends on something. I don't know. What am I doing? I'm over here. lost so much. How could the world ask me to lose you too? Look at us. There we are. There we were. We'll always be right here on this beautiful morning. I just performed a ritual with my mom. The moment has passed, but I'll record it in these pages for you for the future. The weird thing is, you wouldn't be able to scale it that much. Oh 
อรวยJust to make it look like they're wearing it. <laughs> Definitely can't really see it. So, Wait, how do I? Can I? I kind of want to move it. How do I move it? We can't even really see it now. I thought there was a way to move it. Damn it! Man, it doesn't matter. I never knew when my mom would share a memory of dad while cooking on a walk with no warning. It knocked the wind out of me. Rituals take this grief and give it a shape and a story. Filling in this journal is a ritual too, but for a loss that hasn't hit us yet. I've brought tools to record the sights and sounds of this season. I'll start by recording the only place I've ever known. Really want to be able to start running. Again, I want to do. I want to finish this. Yeah, there's the edit or the move. Kind of annoying they didn't let me do that before. Public sleep music is a tradition of ours here. When the music ends, the village will begin to wake up. That was kind of loud. Record sound. We have plenty of fresh water here. I wonder if it's more scarce in the outside world. Is there a run name? I want to run. Can I run? Got to want to go run, run, run. Sprint. Last night there was a goodbye party here in the plaza. Everyone was so afraid for me. To understand that fear, to understand where I grew up, you have to know the man standing watch over the plaza, Dr. Fumi. Last night, my friends wrote down their hopes for my trip and tied them to the branches of this tree.
There's what I was looking for. This is the cafe where my dad used to read his poems. He wrote one for me. Maybe he wrote it for you too. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Can I take a picture of it? I don't know if that means anything. Probably doesn't. Pate's little daydream of leaving this place, of seeing something weird. Dr. Fumio said the dream sickness was caused by something very powerful. He wasn't able to cure it. Dr. Fumio and his son founded Cairo back in 776. They live on through our traditions. I can't remember this. That's a little music thing, statue, another mural. There are three murals celebrating Dr. Fumio's work. Carol Village is nice if you're a child or an old person. But for those of us in between, I need to leave. This is a healing instrument created by Dr. Fumio. It draws on the pure mountain air. Pate loves fish, even though nobody here has ever seen one. Remembering everything must be painful. Dr. Fumio brought peace to so many people here. The elder sought out Dr. Fumio to cure her mother, who was suffering from time misperception.
This is Dr. Fumio and his son. The statue isn't as old as it looks. The artist wore it down to give it a feeling of ancientness and the authority that comes with it. Dr. Fumio was an important person, but we also just have a need to put a human face on events that are beyond our control. He may have felt just as scared and helpless as everyone else. soaking my feet in here on hot days. A village that was created as a place to heal. Is that where my instinct to try to help comes from? It's so strange to imagine I'll be shaped by places and people I haven't met yet. So strange to imagine that I might feel at home somewhere else. These birds migrate, but we don't know where they come from or where they're going. A wish fell off the tree. I'm not supposed to read them but it might be good for you to have an example of one. I can go against tradition a little for posterity. Smells like an old man's toes dipped in cinnamon. I had to drink this gross potion last night. Like my pendant, it's supposed to protect my brain.
Okay, now do I actually leave game? I want to leave the. I don't remember. Do I just find the stairs and go down? Is this something? I don't know. I go fishing here with my best friend, Pate, even though there's nothing to catch. We both appreciate the silence. Caro village was founded during the modernity. Much later, Dr. Funio arrived and remade it in his image. This flower means you're in my thoughts. The morning after the search was called off for dad, our doorstep was covered in them. Trip just as slow, reliable, and oddly satisfying as life itself in this little village. Is it recording? Yes. Okay. How to leave home for my daughter. Find a sacred square of earth. Lay down so you have the dirt at your back. Close your eyes. everything do you see for yourself you see for the dead for the unborn do you listen for yourself you listen for the dead for the unborn your ancestors are in that dirt all the living and all the dead are holding you up now stand they're still there, aren't they? It's time to move, to entangle yourself everywhere with everyone. So the next time you lay down in the dirt, you will have so much more to tell them.
I've always wondered what's on the other side of this gate. Today, I'll find out. I hold a photograph of everyone I've ever known. I hold it tight. These bikes were used by messengers a long, long time ago. Tay fixed up three bikes instead of one. stupid storage for another pitcher? I don't know.
wish humans had evolved to sing instead of talk. Carve notches in the bamboo for the wind to flip through so it can sing. How do I say hot rich rebus? I'm trying to take screenshots, but I'm full on space and it won't let me think it's stupid. So stupid. It's not really important, but I need to stop anyway.